so today we're going to be talking about the kale plant and I want to show you how I prune my kale for a higher yield these are my kale plants that one is from last year it has gone to seed and that bucket over there is my uh, warm tower we'll talk about that some other day so I just harvested all this these are the plants I got from it I guess I want to show you how I prune my kale plants like take this plant for example normally when you plant your kale it grows just a straight line with with um with leaves at the side and then you have the leaves and then it keeps growing and growing but when you prune it it begins to have a, it begins to come out different heads and then you're gonna have more uh, more plants. So the earlier you prune it, the earlier they are gonna grow um, the extra, this thing. Like I started this young, look at it, it started from here. When you prune it, all of this is gonna grow another head. So it's not just gonna be one head of kale. You're gonna have different heads coming up all over. Like this one is just one head. This one, I, have, I pruned it earlier. So I have um, I have different heads coming up. It's gonna start sprouting from after even harvesting the leaves. It's gonna start sprouting from the sides. So I'm gonna prune some that I have not. Even as this is, it's still gonna start sprouting from the side. What I just do is uh, I just basically pinch the head off. I just pinch the head off. And then it's gonna start growing out from the sides and that will help you to have a higher yield in your kale plant so I just pinch all the heads off that's just the basic for pruning if you want a higher yield so this is how far my kale plant has grown since I um, pruned them if you look closely you will see that each one has um, like this one has like about five it's growing out so I'm going to harvest them normally I will dehydrate but I'm going to cut them up and freeze yeah it saves me uh, space and then I prefer to use them fresh so for each time I have it. It's very very easy because they are so tender. It's so very easy to just um to just pluck it off. So for each time I harvest, I also kind of prune it again by cutting it off from the top so that it can start sprouting from the sides and then it doubles my, um, my yield or my harvest, it doubles it. So I harvested all of this, that is my broccoli plant, I still prune broccoli the same way. And then because they are so tender, I can actually cut and use even this uh, the stem. So this is what I have, a very big bowl of kale plants. You can imagine how much this will cost me, or would have cost me in the store. And then because I planted them myself without any pesticide or anything, it's 100% organic. I use the back to eating kind of gardening method for my crops and this is another species of the kale plant there are three this is the purple kale the one I just harvested and um, this one 
it's called the Lacinato Kale. Lacinato. I don't know. That's what I saw there. Lacinato Kale. So I don't have much of this. I just have like two plants of it because the other one is more popular. So I use it more. But I kind of like this because they are darker in color, like green. They are dark green more than the other one. So but I don't really know the difference. Yeah.